into this and show, for example, this is like a little thing that I designed here. And my son loved this stuff because it just feels, I, I did it all the whole time as well. I just pick up this plane and just fly around. And this looks like a toy. My, like, my children, my kid love this uh, and I love it as well. But it's not just a toy because when you blow it up, like in this case, I can go inside this cockpit, right? Ooh, now this becomes a serious design that's right? Because Okay, if I put it between my legs, right? Like I can literally like sit here and just look around. Wow, damn, that's scale. Yeah, this is awesome. And now I can talk with guys like production designers and all those serious guys, right? Because they understand that the building this assets like in real life, it's, it's the most probably expensive thing to do. So that's why they want to make sure, uh, even like at this stage, they could uh, nail the look and the feel of the design that we are trying to build, right? And this is where like, I was straight away on board when I heard this idea that Wacom is trying to build this new controller. Yeah, of course, this is not the best commercial for them, especially when you have these cables hanging around, right? But as, as was said before, this is just a proof of concept, but what I like about it, straight away I see my dependent and very familiar with it from my digital, like 3D digital experience, and now this pen is in the art space, which is super awesome. And now, for example, I can go and just start designing things like, like I said, for example, if I put this over here, Oh, for example, right now I'm in my design mode and I can go like, oh, actually, this week we're designing this interface over here. My terrible aerospace engineering background stuff is designed like, ooh, there's like, ooh, ooh, and all this stuff. Just starting to design this thing, right? But what, what is great about this workflow, it doesn't have any scale uh, in limits, right? I can go inside and start designing like very little things. I can start putting like labels here, right? With my like, angle and state, like, maybe in China or something like that. This is where all the cool stuff is done. And then I can <laughs> zoom out. But then my colleague of mine, let's say people have engineers on board, they could go and start designing, like, for example, this was like, we can go inside and start designing the interior, right? Inside is a very fun. So I can have a guy who, who can start like designing uh, like all the instrument stuff. So, and obviously graphic sketch comes with tons, it's not just drawing and painting, you can have a lot of things like you can start creating geometry if you don't work with it, a lot of this in here, which basically does what this tool does, it creates this thing. It's a simple thing, but trying to do this as simple as I did it here in 3D Pack. Oh, all of those guys go, what, 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 what is it? But this is true, right? Like, there's no way to, you can create a cube and then go into the earth but there's no way you can do this, right? Because it's awesome. Obviously, it doesn't look very good, like, and then you can put the stuff, but it's a table on this side. So I can go inside and stuff like that. So I, I have a couple of other examples which I want to show because I always thought that like, when people see, for example, the VR, they only think, ah, oh, it's just like for prototype and high plate. They think it's all this stuff. No, this is actually a perfect solution for just artists, you know. Like, so, and like I said, apart from designing things, I also love like just drawing things and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you a different example. More than the grandest case with a uh, like collaborative uh, mode. For us artists, it's going to be really awesome. It's going to be faster for other people as well who make decisions on movie making or game production or whatever it is. What I also like, you can delete his stuff. This is awesome. You just <laughs> and he's not paid at all. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is terrible. I clicked on it again. Then no, where is this? <laughs> For example, I have another example here. And 
you know, guys, usually when I do this presentation, people, like, I, I often being accused of using, my stuff is really dark, but I officially have an excuse. I, I, I'm originally from Tajikistan, and we have, like, five years of civil war, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like, I love aliens and all that stuff. But as you can see here, like, this is very organic, you know, like, and I, I love the way, like, I can, in, with VR and gravity sketch, I, I can use my, my drawing skill, you know, and for example, it's, it, it becomes very gestural. That, that was my biggest struggle in 3D. 3D really looks very stiff. I mean, it depends on people's skills, but my skill wasn't enough, good enough to create something organic and something uh, dynamic. And, uh, that, that's why, for example, in gravity sketch and with this weapon controller, right, for example, if I want to sketch something dynamic, let's say, I can do it very quickly, and because I can grab every part, I can just quickly uh, create a dynamic pose or something like this. And for every one of the designs here, I can basically like, pick up this part. And this is so immersive, I know it doesn't make too much sense when you're looking on the screen, but this is so good when you, like, I can become this thing. I'll leave that out. I mean, I, I can totally see some unusual stuff, but also, <laughs> if you see what I mean. But then also, you can grab this dancer. I'm actually an alien, you know, like I can scratch my head or I can scratch my leg. <laughs> I mean, I can do all sorts of stuff, but we won't go there because this is an official presentation. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, it's really, really cool. And this, this technology is perfect for not only painters and designers, but for animators, this is going to be huge. Because you can grab, like, for example, uh, I can grab this head. Oh, not just that. I can grab this head and make some moving. See? It's really, really cool. And once again, because there is no scale with it, I can literally go inside this model. If I was a director, if I was a Michael Bay, I would probably be a shock with his mouth and would do all this. So Michael Bay can literally grab this guy and come up with some really cool shots. Or just like the big legs, right? But all sorts of, all sorts of creative stuff. But obviously, if Michael Bay is not here, and unfortunately we couldn't bring him in, but we have Shay in another room, so we're going to jump on uh, a collaborative mode here to show you actually why this is so exciting. I mean, ignore Shay's anatomy, it's definitely no good anatomy, but <laughs> he's adding some stuff, you know, like he's trying to improve whatever design I was trying to make here. And imagine if you have five professionals from different countries, from different like uh, parts of the world, they can collaborate on one piece, and the speed at which you can do things will be tripled, and even like, you can do it so much faster when you can share the creative space with other artists. And as you can see, like, it's not only for designers or artists, but also great for people who make decisions, right? Like, for example, if, if, I, if I was an art director, straight away in real time, uh, and I would go and uh, fix Shay's stuff, right? He's definitely <laughs> not very good at that. Yeah, Shay, you need to learn some of that, right? <laughs> but at least he could start putting some ideas together, and if this was like a normal way of working, he would do something, and I also love those, uh, uh, when you have babies, right? It's the most beautiful thing in, in the world. You know, when people do something and the next day you have to redo it here, it all, all happened in real time. He's even dropping a note 
not cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking about director, right? Okay, now I need to become more serious. You know, there are two types of art directors. One of them is red, and the other is green, so I'm going to use the red one. It's the bad type of art director. <laughs> yeah, basically, like, I, I can start dropping those right away. So even if he is not online, he will come, like, he will join the session. He will know exactly what I'm talking about. And once again, this is like crazy because you can zoom in and start with, you know, like, for, if you work in the effects world, you know, like this specific guy who does like a mail of Alien in Alien Covenant for five months and did it very, very well, right? Now we can control that guy, so you can totally see him like texturing the nail, right? Guys, like with the nail, and then you can just like frame their color. And you can go and say, you can basically tell me that this looks cool. Yeah, and by like shading, you know, it's, it's like a glamour version of Alien. We're just trying to avoid being too dark here. Yeah, and. Yeah, you can totally see the potential. There's so many cool things you can do with this technology, uh, with collaborative way of working, and with like and pushing this uh, uh, controllers. I'm pretty sure when you see the final ones, they're going to be awesome. I have no doubt.